It's been a really cool time. I'll do my little monologue here yeah, go on, ahead. Uh, on the Canucks conversation. So I started the Canucks conversation, I guess it was like 2018, December, November of 2018 or 2019, one of those years. I started the show very early. Did 60 episodes of just interviewing people. I felt that Canucks conversation had success because it was, and I know it was my idea, but it was an idea that nobody else had at the time, which was to talk to regular texters, callers, people like you, or you were at the Canuck way at the time. Like just people that were blogging about the team and like spent 30 minutes having a conversation. Hence the name Canucks Conversation, which the freaking logo already in here. It doesn't even have my name in it. That's Boston Harvard. My last show. See you later, buddy. <laughs> but the idea, like it worked so well because because the fan base here in Vancouver is so connected on social and so engaged. It's you hear the jokes from the guys and the national guys, right? Like about the Vancouver market. It's true. They're passionate. And that's something that this show, I think, was able to latch onto in the early stages. We grew from there, of course, but we continue to do very similar things of involving different voices. How many different guests do we have on this show that we're never getting chances on, you know, the major network radio shows, right? Like the guests that we were able to have, you know, Danny G, how good was he as a guest? Alexa Potak, what she's doing over there at UMass. And and she was with the New York Rangers this year. Like the, the guests that we were able to have on the show, it just made for good Canucks conversations. And that's what the goal was from this show from the very start. It's been so much fun to do this show. I'm going to miss doing this show. It was like a the project when I first started this, for people who don't know the backstory, I was kicked off of a Canucks podcast three months before starting this show. I was, I was on a Canucks podcast. Uh, I won't bring up the name. I was on a show for... Can I bring up the name? No, I was on a show for like, <laughs> I think like nine months with these guys. They kicked me off and I went to a different outlet. I decided to start my own thing and just talk to people. And it worked out. It grew into what I had at Canucks Army. Almost five years at Canucks Army. That was incredible. So much fun. Uh, and I see his name here in the chat with Jason Botchford. Like, that's what cranked things up 100%. It was when, when Botchford passed away, like there was such a huge void to fill. And I think Canucks media, Canucks, Twitter, everybody has done such a good job continuing on. Like the legacy of what botch did so well in this market has been continued on so well. And it was one of the most incredible moments of my media career last year was meeting Kat Botchford and the kids uh, at a Canucks game last year. And I thought that was incredible. And just to be able to, to have a conversation with her and let her know how much her husband meant to me um, was awesome. That was incredible. And that's what we've tried to continue on this thing i know that you and i have been so inspired by jason botchford and what the way that he did because i think both of us at different points in our lives i would have been my mid-20s you were still a, a high school kid but like how attached we got to sports media because of botch and the mm -hmm. way that he did things on the radio in his writing with everything he did we tried to do so much of what he did i remember my early stages of writing like going through his articles and just like copying the tone of how he did mm -hmm. things and how he like I know both of us did that. So to continue on, like that's the type of style that we felt we wanted to do with this show. And I know you and I did that, did that when you and I were hosts of the show. So I just had a blast doing it so much. I'm really going to miss what I built here. Bummed that I couldn't get to 500 episodes. You guys are going to hit it in like eight shows here. <laughs> it's just really funny. Um, but man, we had a really good run with this show. You and I have worked together for a long time, spent so many hours together. I'm excited to take you out of my favorites of the chat. You're out of there now, Quads, just so you know. That top thing on the text messages, I know it's a it's a, a stab to the heart. You're not in there anymore. My wife's going to take your spot. So that says a lot about how much we have actually talked over the last five years. Um, well, it, here come it, the waterworks. I know. Well, it's, <laughs> yeah, because you're coming out of the favorites. <laughs> you can't be in there anymore. But we have, to, like, the amount that people don't understand how much we've had to communicate, it's, it's rare that in the last five years we've gone two hours without having to text each other about something, right? Like that is how much we've had to work to grow this thing. We spent a lot of time, a lot of hours growing Canucks army, a lot of time growing this show, the support of people from the Patreon that they did to give us the opportunity to buy a roadcaster to have the best type of audio quality. That's been my thought through this whole thing is like, I really wanted to make sure that every piece of content we put this out. And I know this pissed you off, to a certain degree but like everything had to be i wanted it all to sound the exact same look the exact same your freaking file names that you put into the goddamn things are it pisses me off so much because i like everything to be real nice and ordered but the main thing we did and we did this from the start of this show was make sure that the quality was at the highest thing possible right like we made sure that the audio quality was the highest we spent the money on the video and that was a lot because of the people that were supporting us on patreon and that type of thing 
Um, I'm really going to miss what we had here with this show, but I know you guys are continuing on and still going to have a lot of fun on this show and still going to bring some of the best Canucks conversation in the market about this team with the show that you and Harmon are doing. So I I'm really excited about that. We can do a couple more questions here in the chat if you want, but uh, I just needed to get that out real quick. No, that was very sweet. People want us to hug, and I'm sure we will. We've never hugged. Maybe yeah, we, we have. Uh, we probably have, yeah. I mean, it was very horrible circumstances it was a tragic thing that happened to one of us but i'm not gonna i don't think we should bring that up but we have hugged yeah you i don't give memorable hugs i don't know really that's hurtful <laughs> didn't we hug at your wedding yeah we hugged at the wedding we got it on video actually. so we've had two hugs <laughs> <laughs> well at least someone <laughs> then we have down. two hugs yeah when do we want to close the patreon because we just posted the uh the, the wedding, wedding speech there. yeah so yeah we'll close it at we'll some close point. it eventually i think enough people can i mean we it. can't do an episode we gotta yeah the, thank you to all the patreon subscribers over the years you mentioned it they helped us get a roadcaster in improved. Here. Lisa's lisa a long time supporter yeah, yeah lisa's been a supporter jack forever. jack was one of our first supporters as yeah. well jackson's been great yeah yeah um yeah this is tough i don't want to um i'm a big hugger it's just quads and i aren't hugs guy we're not hug guys i'm a hug guy i'm a hug guy too but you and i don't do it often no we don't no I don't know why that is. Our, Remember bo our bodies friends. don't match well for a hug. That's true, <laughs> actually. That might be part of it. <laughs> I'm going to see you at the rink a lot, too, still. So yeah, no hugs. I don't think there's going to be any hugging. But, uh, yeah, I I'm excited, man. I'm very excited that it's going to be uh, going to be kind there's of Adam. a... Adam Tate's been a long-time Patreon. Yeah. As well, everybody. In yeah, he said he liked the wedding speech. My wedding speech was good. It was I, cool. I stayed away from this stuff. <laughs> I was very careful. I was very careful. They started all those Nanaimo folks. They started drinking at two o'clock. They were turning on. Yeah. Know. And they were like, have a drink. I was like, nope, nope. I'll fall asleep at 630 and not be around for my speech. So. Hugging Faber must heat you to the core. Call of the wild says it is. I can, you can tell the crowd's hitting. My face is going pretty red on the cam here. <laughs> Does the work get in the way of the hugs? <laughs> yeah. Like, man, I, we do work a lot. Yeah, it's it's been so like the work we do is really fun, but man, we've been able to put in a lot of work to do it, like to get to this point. I think that's the coolest part. Yeah. It, it's the coolest part seeing everything come from it, right? Like the work is fun. It's great. It's hockey. It's very good, but it is a lot of the time. Like when I first started out doing this, I remember how, like not being able to go out with my friends on Fridays and Saturdays because I was doing color commentary and writing about the team in the vijhl for the viu mariners like and people are like what do you like people told me back then like you're you know you're wasting your saturday nights right you're wasting your saturday nights not coming out and having a good time with your friends and did i miss out a lot of good times for sure uh but you know looking back now i don't know if you can find any of those articles for about the viu hockey team i still got the toque uh but uh like it is pretty cool to see it all kind of worth it it took a lot of work Took a lot of work, a lot more than I and did at the mill. That's for sure. Huge thanks, obviously, goes out to Jay Downton, everybody at Playmaker downtown Nation Jay. Network. Yep. Yeah, downtown Jay. Like Jay was the first guy who really believed in us. Like yeah. in this market, he believed in what we Canucks were doing Army. in the market. He made a really strong push to get you full time, to get me full time. Like this was our careers. Like this was our jobs, right? And you know. Huge shout out to Jay because Jay's always believed in us. Still does. Uh, he's coming out on Monday. I'll probably say hi to you at some point. Um, yeah. I'll let you know. I think I'm going to meet him in the intermission, so I'll text you about that. But anyways, oh yeah, he's coming. Um, to the game. Yeah, huge shout out to Jay Downton, our fearless leader at Nation Network. Oh, um, that's good. I mean, the investment the doesn't one stop had. in the Vancouver market, right? Like you saw. Like, look again. Not trying to pump my boss's tires too much, but no, go for you it. You left, yeah. right? That money could have, they could have been and like, you okay. You the hell out. Some people who don't know on the Sunday when, or the <laughs> night that I told you. They they could have turned around and said, okay, well, we're not going to, we're going to put that money in the Toronto market. Quads, you can host Canucks Convo solo. Uh, we're, whatever. They could have done any number of things, Very but they easy. immediately just said, okay, what do you want and how can we get it for you? And I said, I want Harmon Dial and I want Jeff Patterson. And here we are. Both of those guys are signed. We had yeses from them literally like the day you announced you were leaving. We already knew they were coming on and it was, it was very nice to kind of get that support. So I just want to give a shout out to nation network and to Jay for investing in this market. Um, obviously it means a lot to both of us. It means a lot to Canucks fans. I know that there's a media company out there that is investing and believes in Canucks fans and 
in well, it's not the just that, market. but it's you know the Nation Network. I have to give them so much props because they are producing such good local sports content, and you don't get that from everything nowadays. A lot of it is about you know big money. Where's the big money coming from? Yeah. That's the team that's being covered. The fact that you're seeing here from the investment from Nation Network, they've done an incredible job investing in the Canucks. Investing in Canucks Army, investing in Canucks Convo, investing in local coverage, all the stuff they do in Edmonton. I know I make mm-hmm. jokes about them having this big office with 40 people in there, but respect to them, they're at least trying, you know, all 47 of those people, they're in there to create Oilers content. They got 54 people walking around the office and they are creating Oilers content every day for the folks out there. They're trying to grow that here in Vancouver. So continue to support them uh, at Canucks Army, continue to support the sponsors that are helping make this possible and pay our salaries and all these type of things. That's how it works, folks. Like the, the companies that are here on the show supporting us, they're the reason we're able to do this for local Canucks content. So thank you to Nation Network for that. Um, I want to give a shout out to Nation Network as well for giving me an opportunity to go to the last two NHL drafts. I met a lot of good people there in the hockey world. Quads, you're going to have to replace me. You got to do some. I know you don't like to travel. You got to start going to the drafts, man. Drafts are a good time. We got Hello. a lot of meet, meet a lot of good people. I was doing Jager bonds with Elliot Friedman at the last draft. That's the best. It was great. Michael right Stockholm. And Cole Lind. I saw Cole Lind down there at the. At oh, Tootsie. yeah. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. His brother. Yeah. Oh, Bert's brother. moving. Final Bert Cam. I'll probably do Bert Cam still on the new show. We'll see. Yeah. I think so. But. If you, oh, look moving. at him. He's trying to find his crate. He wants to go back to bed. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Any final thoughts? We'll close it out. Harmon's waiting for me, I think, to get downstairs. No, I think uh, I just want to say thank you. I mean, since we're here on YouTube and the podcast, people are going to hear this later on in the day. But thank you so much to everyone um, who engaged with the show over the years. This this whole thing here on on YouTube was a uh, there were there was a bumpy transition for us. A lot of the time, mm-hmm. a lot of the time we had 12 people in here watching the show. It's grown from there. The podcast listeners through and through have always been there. We've always put up really good numbers on the podcast. uh, And that's something why Nation Network wanted to invest. Continue to support this show. Um, Thank you to everyone so much who listened, shared this show, supported this show, whatever it was. Anytime you comment on a tweet, it helps. Anytime you retweet or like or do something on Instagram or tell a friend about this show, it helps us so much more than you could imagine. I'm going to miss it. I'm going to try not to tear up here. I'm really going to miss this. This has been like the best part of my life for a lot in my whole life doing all this type of stuff. I'm really going to miss it. But the new opportunity that I have around the corner is incredible. It is. It could be the job that I do for the next 40 years of my life. Like it really could. If it, if everything fits well and everything works out, this could be what I'm doing. Bring content to Canucks fans for like the next 40 years until I retire. So I hope that that's how everything works out. And thank you to everybody in the comments, uh, behind the scenes with producer Alex, producer Aaron, producer Grady now taking over. Like everyone has meant so much and the support system has been incredible. And that's why we've made it. And that's why this is happening. And that's why this show is going to continue to be great. And what I'm going to go do with the Vancouver Canucks, I promise you, is going to be great. I'm going to work as hard as I have here. And, and now with the access that I have with this team, we're going to create some freaking awesome coverage, man. It's going to be incredible. So um, that's it for me, man. Thanks for everyone for everything. Like everything that you guys have done has helped in a certain way. So thank you for that. Couldn't have said it better myself. You did great. You did great work on this show for years. It was an honor to be asked to be your co-host back in 2021. And I'm not trying to make you cry. I've had a little bit to drink. <laughs> and no, in all in all seriousness, Chris, um, working with you has changed my life. You know that already. Um, people already know the story, but the way I got started was messaging a guy on Twitter who I saw shotgunning beers um, and saying, hey, I see you blog about the Canucks. I think I'm a good writer. I'd like to get started uh, doing that. And then my master plan of becoming your boss happened two months later. Yeah. You you became my boss at two different outlets. Yeah, because you you tried to run and I followed you. Yeah, both times. Now we'll see what happens. I was inevitable. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I think Jim Rutherford's gonna be on line one with you pretty. No, quick I think Jim Rutherford's gonna say well, this. This stops here. <laughs> once he yeah. hear, once he hears the impression. Um, but anyways, okay. Can we close it up there? Bring it in, man. Come on, come on in my camera here. People can see that I wear sweatpants every goddamn show here. Anyways, love you, buddy. Thanks for everything. Keep it going. Oh, I was on my tippy toes there. Yeah.
No, it's I can't wait. I'm still going to be around. Uh, it's just going to be a little bit different. Um, but, man, I'm going to be around. You can bet on that. Um, thanks to everyone. Love everybody. Love you all. Thank you so much for everything. We'll wrap it up there, Grady. Take us out of here. For one last time, I'll say it. I'll, I'll close this out here. Thank you so much for listening to another episode of the Canucks Conversation.